Hello, this is Archwilia Film Reviews, and today with me I have Sin's Corner again, the one that laughs, cries. Oh my of... gosh. <laughs> today we are going to be reviewing... Snatch. Um, I, after we saw Gentlemen, we saw Snatch We were later. in a Guy Ritchie mood. Yeah. Or we saw un- it the next day, right? Uncle Tim, yeah. Yeah. This was my first time ever seeing it. This was Timothy's, maybe his first exposure, my brother's first exposure to Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. So that's why it's his favorite Guy Ritchie film, because it was something very unique De- at the different. time. And different in the way the thing was editing, the way the story uh, unfolded. Now, this was not my first Guy Ritchie film. Um, I finally got around to watching it. I've seen a few others. So I'm kind of used to his style now. So I didn't, I don't, I'm not as in love with it as... As, as Timothy, Timothy is. yeah, but I do like it. It's I think I like the gentleman better. I yeah, but 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 that's why Snatch we're here. Is really good. We're, that's why we're here. We're going to review for you guys. Is it a yay or a nay or a, a little yay. bit of both? It's a yay. Well, we for don't. Me, well, we yay. don't know that yet. We got to get into it, shall yeah. we? Let's go. Okay, here we go. There is a bit like mobsters there is two guys we follow that are in the mobster they're involved with the, and this the plot has to do with a diamond that's pretty uh expensive yeah we have the two in the in the mobsters or this type of group uh, some of the ones who own the arcade place yeah they okay, own that's the arcade. jason statham is okay. the guy with the baldish head yeah. he played in wrath of man yeah wrath of man the other guy i do not know his name but his character's name was tommy okay yeah tommy. and turkish yeah. was jason Steve. then you have the other guy um that was oh goodness he was in that um movie that you saw like it had to do with drug cartels with them oh benicio the... del toro yeah him it's he got played him. in Gal- guardians of the galaxy yeah him he's in here uh brad pitt is in here a lot of big names are, are in this film Dennis Farina. Um, Even the guy that played Morgan from The Walking Dead's in here. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't remember his character's name. I kept wanting to say Mason, and I knew that wasn't right. Morgan. I don't remember that gentleman's name, but you, I know his face. I know exactly what I he call it, person. like, I think I, of Morgan, Morgan from, yeah. Uh, yeah, The Walking Dead. That was the first time I saw him was The Walking Dead. I can't remember if that was the first time I saw him or not. It might have been. Or the first time I paid attention to him as an actor. Yeah, just like gentlemen, the story is around a specific thing. It comes all in a circle with so a diamond. Interconnected. A lot of characters, and you do have to have subtitles. For this one, you definitely need subtitles because the character that Brad Pitt plays and all, hard. The, all the people with him, <laughs> they, hard to... they're gypsies. I can't remember what they call them. Are they really gypsies? Why yeah, they they were gypsies. I, I just know Brad Pitt's character. He's like, he's a fighter. He can fight. Yeah, he's a street, like a street fighter. And yeah, the street they're, fighting they're stuff or the boxing. fighting stuff is illegal, what they're doing. Yeah, what with they're the doing monster. is illegal. Yeah, it comes around with the diamond and there's this Russian guy that... <laughs> I can die. Oh my gosh, that Russian guy, he, the unkillable <laughs> Russian guy. <laughs> it's crazy that Guy Ritchie can inject humor <laughs> even when someone is getting yeah. killed or seriously hurt. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that it happens in this film a lot. And his films are kind of like Game of Thrones types films. No one Game safe. of Thrones type of uh, type of films because no one is no necessarily one is, yeah. safe. No one is. So take it with a grain of salt. Maybe your favorite uh, actor in here that hits gets they the bucket. They might end up dying quite a bit earlier than you expected. I yeah. think that happened with a character in here. I was not expecting them to go as quickly as they did. But anyway, so Snatch, that's basically the whole premise. And then these two guys that are in the mobsters, well, let's just say it doesn't really work out for them and things. They have the worst luck. Yeah. It's the film quality now. You have to remember it is 2000. It's kind of got that 2000s or late 90s feel. I wasn't really necessarily thinking about the late 90s film, but I did notice that the the sharpness of the image was definitely um, not as much as in The Gentleman. Like, well, it because, wasn't as crisp yeah. of, a, of a picture. It's funny. Those, Maybe we just had the SD version. It's know. funny because Snatch, uh, Gentleman came out 20 years after mm-hmm. Snatch, so that's kind of funny. The qual- I mean, yeah, you're going to get that early 2000s feel. Definitely, but it's kind of a, you know, a nostalgia feel. Brad Pitt, my brother wanted me to specifically mention this. Brad Pitt should have won an Oscar for his performance in this movie. Who counts the Oscars these days? (laughs) 
We could we know, could reward I, someone yeah. because of their acting. The dialect that he took on was uh, amazingly. Uh, yeah, like I could, like he sounded like you couldn't that understand of... what the heck he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Incomprehensible. I think that was the word I was looking for. I think, but um, there was that one scene where Jason Statham and is is it his brother? Was Tommy his brother? I can't remember. They worked together, but I don't remember yeah. if they were brothers. But they were talking to Brad Pitt's character along with the other gypsies that he was with, which I don't know if all of them were his family members, but they were they were all together. And the way he was talking, the way that Jason Statham did his head, because he he's like, Brad Pitt's talking, and you don't, and even in the subtitles, it says indistinct. <laughs> they couldn't even, they didn't even know what the heck he was saying. And so Jason, they're like, you go like this, <laughs> the way their heads go forward. It was so funny, and I thought it was hilarious because they're both from the same place, but one of them, they, they well, just can't understand. In reality, that's kind of how it is. For, you it know is. how, in, the, is how in, in America, you have the North. Northern ass accent. accent. Yeah. Central Park. Yeah, but you can and understand then in the her. Yeah, but in the South, Some you know, of the really backwoods, yeah. like, back, like, deep like, uh, South. Like, in the Gettysburg. They have a really strong in accent. In Gettysburg, Some, like, there was the one, the one of the Confederate prisoners. I didn't and he was like, it. states rats, oh, <laughs> states rats. But <laughs> I feel gonna... like, so I, I had an interesting comment that was made on my my review video for Wrath of Man. I said something about how one of my issues with Wrath of Man was that Jason Statham, because he played in that movie as well, that sometimes his words were just not enunciated very clearly. There were a few no. times that I did not understand what he was saying. And I and I indicated that I think part of it is just he doesn't have a lot of emotional range in his acting. He's very much a wooden actor, but that suits his character. It suits the characters that he plays, but yeah. he doesn't open his mouth a lot when he talks. Like he doesn't like give his tongue room. And so when he's talking, it's kind of like a little slurred together. And someone said to me, that I'm actually not the only one that's had issues understanding him. And the guy said, I'm from the UK and sometimes we don't even understand what he's saying. And then someone else said that every 20, you, you like, like, you know, every 20 minutes you'll go, you'll run it or 20 miles, whatever he said, you'll run into a completely different dialect. And sometimes it is hard for, for people to understand each other. But the character that Brad Pitt is playing has got such a strong, <laughs> and I don't honestly, Maybe our UK friends can let us know this, whether he was, whether they were really just hamming it up and just, just beefing it up into something that is not necessarily as strong as that in real life, or if he was being true to life, if they really do speak. I thought they, very, do. Very I much. thought, yeah, I thought like the like northern, the north, like if you go up north into Scotland, I thought it kind of starts well, They were up. in Scotland. Well, you know, going up the north. Northern, the more north you go in the UK, you mean? To, to be honest though, I will say Britain does look pretty cozy in some areas, wouldn't you say? If it wasn't so Gray. Yeah, but there, but you have to admit, there's some nice cozy feel about it. Even yeah, though yeah, I, I, I don't like. I would, I, I could see myself living over there in a place with, like England, but, UK. Yeah, and and having a cup of coffee and doing work. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to live in London, though. You couldn't even pay me to visit London. I wouldn't I want have to. Zero I wouldn't want to visit London. No, I wouldn't <laughs> want to go in the Outbacks. <laughs> But it, I, I like the scenery and I like UK like, stuff. Like, but I can say he did a. I thought he was good in this one. Brad Pitt. No, well, yeah, but I mean, uh, what's his name from uh, Jason Rathamay. Statham? Yeah, I thought. Oh he yeah, was, he was. Like, I think he was, fit that. Oh, that, he does. That, that part. He fits every role. Kind of like he that plays cool in. guy in the coat, in a, in kind of in a monster, but he kind of doesn't. What? <laughs> Nothing was just going good. <laughs> They go to buy a caravan. Oh, and then the yeah. caravan, and then they end up having to buy a caravan for the people they're trying to buy a caravan <laughs> from, and then they just everything goes wrong for them. But anyways, so, the the you and know, those thieves. Oh with yeah, the dog. We're going in a lot of. <laughs> let's just say the everything about this film is entertaining with the characters. Yeah. Go, there's always a problem for each character. But I was talking about. See, we went in a like how um, he yeah. does th different directions. We went. In we do that too. Well, I, I was saying that. the film quality has that two thousands feel. Mm. Editing, um, it oh, kind of has that same. Oh yeah, it's your typical Guy Ritchie. It definitely had that Guy Ritchie. It's feel. Guy Ritchie editing. Yeah. Guy Ritchie editing. Um, and so, Guy anyways, Ritchie storytelling. As for our enjoyment, we've already kind of discussed that. We can you tell it. we like we it? Really we it. We really liked it. We really liked it. It was funny. I like to see what the characters were doing. 
around the same time. All in, it's like all in a circle, like a gentleman. It's mm -hmm. all in a circle, and then at the center is the conclusion. Yeah. Um. As with any other Guy Ritchie film, you need to pay close attention to what's going on. Subtitles, like I said, are, are highly recommended. Yeah. Yes, if you want to understand what's being said, especially by Brad Pitt's Because even, even they say he, they kind of understand Indistinct. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> but yeah, you have to pay attention, not just to, to, to get what people are saying, but also because it's so complex and there are so many characters. And as in The Gentleman, they were repeating each other's names all the time so in the mobster the... guy even the mobster guy whenever um what's his name that bumped into him behind him and, oh and, yeah and tim was like he, he always <laughs> like <"Ugh." laughs> i remember in the beginning when they were showing all the characters and they were showing you their names and their their nicknames i remember thinking oh boy i'm gonna have trouble remembering but because they kept repeating the names over and over and over um that's when it started to kind of i think i mentioned this in our review Tommy. I Tom mentioned this in my our review yeah. for the gentleman, but that's when it kind of started to click. click into my head. I wonder if this is a technique he uses so that you can clearly remember who the characters are. Yeah. Because it was extremely helpful. Wouldn't make sense. Because there's a lot of characters. Tommy. Tommy. And entertaining dogs. You, too. Yeah, and an entertaining cute dog. <laughs> that squeaks. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I personally enjoyed this film just like Gentlemen. Now, anyways. Want money? I fought you. Fight you for it. You and me. Snatch. If you like Guy Ritchie's films, if you liked Gentlemen, if you liked any of his others, then this would be another classic that you will enjoy. I will literally give it. I really, really liked it. Oh yeah, and or it. or I actually, it. let me rephrase like that. Inter in an interesting, jolly good old time. Yeah, um, I like the gentleman more personally, but honestly, with a lot of Guy Ritchie films, they're so good. I I don't know of one Guy Ritchie film I've seen yet that I don't like. Now I haven't seen all of his stuff. I have no interest in something like Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Personally, I have no interest in, in interest in Swept Away, the the movie that he filmed when he was married to Madonna. What was wrong with him that he married that woman? Anyway, um, and also I think like let's say he filmed Aladdin. I bet his technique was quite different because he didn't write that story and he was directing it for Disney. What do you want to bet if you watched it, it wouldn't feel like a Guy Ritchie film? I just have a to me it didn't it look like it yeah i never knew it was him directing it i actually didn't know it was him directing king arthur either but i never watched it well i'd forgotten it was him i think uh charlie kind of mentioned that on toonami mm. or it was or that when he was talking about king arthur and i really like his filming i mean he to me he is on up there i mentioned this along with quentin tarantino yeah he, he's up there with quentin tarantino because his his storytelling is so unique and it's so strong and the characters are so interconnected and the way the story just kind of fits all together like this perfect jigsaw puzzle. I mean, it's just so, so well done. Mm -hmm. um, I really, really like his work. Yeah. Along with Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, I like Tarantino's work too, but- Like but they're, also more, they're more creative. Like Hollywood doesn't seem to understand and original, what makes original, good- Original, original, and not good. cliche. When you watch a Guy Ritchie movie, it takes a lot of mental energy. Yeah, that happened, yeah. Because you have to be on top of the plot and what's happening. So that's why last night when we were done with Snatch, and you didn't want to like, do it. I was anymore. like, I don't want to do another Guy Ritchie film. I love his movies, but I have to really be plugged in, like super into. Like, and even focus. Snatch was a little confusing for me at points. Really? At first, until down the line. Then it started. To, then it started yeah. to click. Now, it had to do with the diamond. It, now you would you yeah. wouldn't have any trouble at all. Oh, but yeah, so. I thought the I thought the acting was really well done. All of them did a good job. Well, I like also that Guy Ritchie doesn't necessarily. Uh, stick to linear storylines. Linear means you just start at the beginning and go to the end. He goes all over, over the, place. the place. He's like here and then there and here and there and here and there. And yet he's able to do it in such a way that if you are on your toes, if you are paying attention, you will be able to follow it. But it's a lot of mental gear shifting that you have to do when you're watching his films. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. Anyways, well, 
that wraps it up for this review. You can follow my mom at Sins Corner. Mm -hmm.